okay so now that our turret can sweep across the given range and it's like this so the next step is add in the player character so if the turret detect the player character it should start shooting first let's uh, add the player character uh, i'm going to add the c++ mannequin here uh, mannequin in the c++ format and implement a way to determine it as an enemy character for the turret so right here let's go to add add feature or content pack and i'll select c++ feature and third person and add to project So if you were, so I'm not going to implement the third person character from scratch here. I'm just going to use the uh, third person character available with the Unreal Engine, the example character. But if you are interested in learning how to implement that character from scratch, you can watch this tutorial I covered some time ago. It's in Unreal Engine 4, but it's I don't think there is much difference in the if you do the same thing in Unreal Engine 5 as well. The video name is Unreal Engine C++ getting started 2020. I leave a link in the description below. And this is still compiling as you can see. Right, finally I got this message. I read those files. Would you like to edit the code now? Let's press yes and it opened the C files in Visual Studio. And I got the compiler too. Now let's close this. That person character contains invalid data. Yeah, if I try to open this, Blueprint could not be loaded because it derives from an invalid class. So right let's press no i think the problem is actually where is c plus 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 c plus plus classes are here but it's not showing up here yet. Shall I press compile and again and see? Unresolved externals. Yeah, I did some searching in the internet and found out that I have to add to the tower this build.cs file here this head mounted display module let's compile now right again this error for probably warning an error CD or constructor third person game mode failed to find whatever this class still don't see the oh third person is here oh nice icon so actually that error comes let's open up the third person game mode this is what it says it can't find so let's go back to the character let's press yes so because of some reason i think it can't detect that c++ class 
yeah as you can see here the parent class is set as none so is it possible to set the parent class to this one to be the present character it's not showing up here right then what we can do is let me copy the name and delete let me rename this oh try to create another low friend character again okay. let's put that in the same folder I'll use the same name the person character so I won't have to change this reference therefore right and let's just use use scan By the way, it started raining outside. Hope it won't make much of a noise. Oh, the engine crashed. Let's try to restart. I still get this error. Press OK. Okay, did open. Let's see if we have a class sign just created. No. Right. Let's try again. Shall I try to delete this again? Oh, this time it worked. Okay, now I select TB the person game mode. And then oh, simulation. Let's select play. Okay, character is not selected. So let's uh, where is this game mode? Yeah, let's create a blue brand version of this. Let's call it BB third person game mode. Now we can select. Phone class third person character plus this one. Okay, and 
is VP third person game mode. Right. Now we have the character. Right. And I think if I comment this part, I'm not sure why it can't do that. But this is only required if we don't have a valid phone class. Let me just comment this. Maybe they will fix Epic will fix that issue in the future. Alright, so I'm gonna stop this episode here because I have to stop uh, recording for tonight. It's too much noise because of rain. So tomorrow let's work on how to detect how to make the turret detect the player character when it uh, walk over this beam and yeah basically that part and thanks for watching see you in another episode goodbye